Right, recently I've just bought some additional paraphernalia for my uh, camping and this is a tarp. I'm just going to show you how I put it up and I want you to appreciate the effort that's going into this. So I'm filming here, which you'll see the whole thing. Over there, which I'm about to set up, is going to be a motion time lapse, which I'll maybe put on the screen right now so you can see. And then all the while, you're going to see my first person view and hopefully commentary from here on how I set this up. So please enjoy my erection and um, marvel at my uh, fantastic camera skills, hopefully. So let's get going. Record. Right, so let's get this time lapse set up. I'm setting it for 10 minutes, but hmm, let's just see, shall we? Right, okay, so first thing I've got to do is move the dog and lay this thing out as flat as I can in the position but I want it to go up. So, let's go this way. So, I can't remember the dimensions of this. I think it's one, 120, move, come on, move. 120 mil by 210 or something like that. Mil, centimeters even. I'll put it up on the screen. So what I'm doing is I'm just, Putting out these corners about 45 degrees where I want them to go. As you can see, hopefully, I've already tied this on. The bowline knot. And I'll put links below to this tarp and Holes that I bought, so you can see what I picked up from Amazon. Now, when I first set this up, I um, I didn't do it this way. I tried mounting the poles and the tarp all at the same time, which wasn't very wasn't very straightforward. But anyway, let's, let's get the poles out. Now. So first of all. Do is I'm going to peg out these corners. I'm going to peg out the corners. Are we on that, Yeah. I'm going to peg out the corners. And these are all at 45 degrees, which just keeps it nice and keeps a nice shape. And as you can see, for a tarp that's only Whatever, you know, 1.4 by 2.1 meters, it actually takes up quite a bit of space to get it pegged out. What have I missed? Missed this one. So we're all prepped ready now. Now, next thing, get the poles up. So these come in sets of two, I'm sure you can buy sets of four. If you need to, but these come in sets of two and I bought two lots. And then, um, oh, here we go. This one was 210 by 140. So three piece poles. Of a, a solid end so it doesn't sink too much in the ground and then the uh, spiky end to go through the end of the corners of the tarp.
if you are enjoying this and finding it fascinating and obviously enjoying the multiple angles that you've been treated to then give us a, a thumbs up it's really appreciated and um, just to get you know what I used this for was trying to put a photo or something up on the screen in a minute but what I used this for was just to give my small tent a bit of a, a larger sort of porch area give me some shelter from the rain a few weeks back right so now there's clearly not enough space there for me to put a sort of two meter pole underneath so what I now need to do is give this a bit of slack and as I've already done this I know if I come down about this far about two feet this seems to give me just enough to get these those two poles in place so I just thread them through the eyelets rivets whatever they're called There we go. One, that's perfect length actually. Two, already you can see, got a fair bit of tension going on there. That was well done. That was actually more successful than my rehearsal yesterday evening. Very pleased with that. So, repeat this side. Bit of slack. Bit of slack. A bit too much slack that time. Where did you go? And up again. And Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt. Now it's just a matter of just making sure it's all nice and tense all around. And we're done. That wasn't too bad and according to that timer I've been going seven minutes and 50 seconds and that's including setting up the old um, timer over there as well which doesn't look like it started. I'm going to have a quick check of that. God knows what I've done with that. Anyway, there we go. So I use this as a bit of an extension on my tent to give me a bit of get space for um, sitting, eating, cooking, whatever. And then just one more thing that, just one more thing that I need to do was uh, in the heavy rain, obviously this here, it's gonna just fill up. So quick tweak. To shorten these ends. And that obviously now gives me a nice slope for the rain to run off. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this, give us that thumbs up and um, ask me any questions. I say I'll put links below where I where I put these and some photos for my setup. And uh, yeah, if you like these camping stuff, again, leave some comments. I'll uh, try and do some more of these and I will see you in another video real soon.